Hello everybody, Yannick here for Yannick's Photo School once again for another Photoshop video tutorial. Today we're going to be looking at uh, sharpening an image. Uh, you're probably saying to yourself, oh Yannick, we know how to sharpen an image. You don't need to tell us. It's easy. Just go into the Unsharp Mask or the Smart Sharpen um, filter and just play around with the radius and the amount and voila. And you're absolutely right, you can do it that way. But today we're going to do it in another way. A way that I find is actually a lot better than the Unsharp Mask or the Smart Sharpen tool in Photoshop. And it's by using the High Pass filter. It's not very long to do. It's actually quite simple to do. And you have uh, very, very good control uh, over your sharpening amount. And um, what's great about it is that it's done on a separate layer. So if you're the kind of guy that likes to save PSD files with layers, then you can always go back and undo the sharpen or modify it at will. All right, let's go and uh, play with this. The first thing we need to do is to duplicate our layer. Let me bring my channels, my layers palette out here so you can see it. And to duplicate a layer, you control J, and uh, that duplicates your layer. And the next thing we need to do is to change that layer to a high pass layer. And we do this by going into Filter, Other, and the second one down, High Pass. A dialog box appears, and your image becomes this awful looking gray, kind of like a gray plate. Uh, metal plate. Don't be alarmed, this is normal. Uh, this is what high pass does and we'll be uh, modifying that. Now, well, the only function we have in this dialog box is the radius of our high pass. Now, what you see as gray uh, is where uh, the, the high pass won't be affected or in other words the um, sharpening won't be affected. So the higher up you bring that, as you can see, the more uh, grossly uh, uh, over-processed sharpening will appear. Now I like to have it between 5 and 10 pixels because it's it's better to have more than less because after that you can um, just by bringing down the opacity of your layer decrease the amount of sharpening and you can't bring your opacity over 100 so you can't increase the sharpening. So that's why I like to give it a little bit more oomph and then tone it down after. So let's say 6.3 looks good. Um, we'll click OK. And this is where the fun begins. Now what we need to do to bring back our image is to change the layer blending mode. And you find this right here on top here. And uh, we click on the arrow. Now of course when I record with Camtasia it uh, bumps my menu over. But usually it appears right down here. So let me just go here. And let's select Overlay. Now we can select Overlay, Soft Light, Hard Light, Vivid Light, and Linear Light. And they each have their own strength. Um, I like either Soft Light, uh, Hard Light, or Overlay. But uh, let's, let's just click on Overlay. And there you go. It brings everything back. Let's look at a before and after. Um, I'm not sure if you're going to see it on the video. So let me zoom in at 100% on the little baby's eye before and after. I'm sure you can see the difference there before and after. And of course as I mentioned you can play and go to soft light which would be a bit more subtle. Um, you can do it with hard light which I find sometimes a little too extreme. I like overlay, it's kind of like in the, in the middle. And if it's still too much I can just reduce the opacity of my layer to my liking. And it's that simple. Now, of course, this affects the whole image. Now, if you want, only want it uh, to affect a certain part of the image, uh, what, what you would need to do after that is to go and uh, erase where you do not want the sharpening to be uh, applied to. And you can do that by creating a layer mask on your uh, high pass layer and you do that by clicking on this icon here and it creates a mask, a white mask. Now what you need to do to erase 
is to have a black colored brush. Here black needs to be a foreground color. Select your brush and then using the size and hardness that you want you can go in and erase. Again here you can um, you can select the opacity of the brush and then it will erase more in a gray tone than a black tone. So go right ahead and then erase where the high pass filter um, uh, applied sharpening and where you don't want it. And that's it. That's the tutorial for today. I hope you enjoyed it. Post your comments on other ways of sharpening if you know. I know there's a, a method using LAB mode um, that I've never tried, but uh, if uh, some of you have tried it, go right ahead and uh, post your experiences with that technique. This is Yannick uh, Schulmeier signing out for Yannick's Photo School. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.